What's going on guys, Austin Zay back here with another video and if you're brand new to my channel, we're typically talking about business, finance, real estate, and all things money. And today, we're gonna be talking about the five worst side hustles of 2021. Now, I feel like there's a lot of people talking about the best side hustles, right? I mean, you go on YouTube and you type in side hustles for 2021. I mean, I feel like every year, people are making just a ton of videos on the best side hustles, okay? But everybody's talking about the best side hustles and to be honest, honest with you, I've watched a couple of the videos and there are definitely some side hustles that I feel like other people are recommending that I don't think in a million years I would do myself. So I just want to break that down for you. And all I ask in return is that you just do me a massive favor and just smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm right before we go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so the worst side hustle in my humble opinion is in fact YouTube, okay? I know you're probably like Austin, YouTube, like the worst side hustle. Everybody I feel like includes starting a YouTube channel and becoming an influencer as like one of their best side hustles. So let me just explain what I mean. On average, it takes about 22 months for a channel on YouTube to reach about a thousand subscribers, okay? So I just kind of want to lead into it with that and then break down for you why I personally think in 2021, YouTube is not gonna be the best side hustle. But I want to talk about what I do think about YouTube and kind of give you a little bit of value. So in my humble opinion, the point of a side hustle is to start making money fairly quickly, right? Because by definition, if it is a side hustle, that would mean that you have some sort of main hustle, right? You're working a nine to five job, you've got another business you're running, uh, whatever it is, right? You've got some other form or some other stream of income. So if you're taking on a side hustle, it is probably because you wanna make money on the side, right? You wanna make additional income streams. I mean, we all all know the average millionaire has what okay you can fill in the blank of course seven streams of income if you've been on YouTube for a while then you know that statistic because people reference it all the time so why would you go start a YouTube channel as a side hustle to you know supplement additional money if it is gonna take a really long time to succeed now I do think that YouTube's a great place, right? You can make a lot of money on YouTube, although I don't think that that should be your primary reason for getting on YouTube, and that kind of leads me to like, the second reason of why I don't think YouTube is the best side hustle because I think YouTube should be about providing value. And I think YouTube should be about, you know, really making content that you enjoy and making content that you have fun with and making content that is relevant to you, your life and your potential uh, future audience. So I just think that in my humble opinion, you know, if you wanna get on YouTube, don't do it as a side hustle, right? Do it because you enjoy doing it. Do it because that is what you love to do and whatever type of niche that you're gonna get involved with is a niche that you do, you're an expert in that niche. So for me, I do real estate all the time, right? I do business all the time. I talk about finance and I personally am investing in the stock market, right? I'm investing in a lot of the things that I talk about on my channel, uh, basically all of them actually, I'm doing aside from YouTube, right? Aside from social media, I'm already doing that. So talking about it becomes very simple. So basically with the amount of time, the amount of energy and the amount of work required to start a YouTube channel and to actually get success on the platform of YouTube, I just don't see it being a good side hustle, right? I mean, honestly, I only have like 30 some odd thousand subscribers and I spend probably 20 or 30 hours a week, honestly, on my YouTube channel, okay? And that is along with building everything else. So I definitely think that there are other side hustles that are better than YouTube. The second worst side hustle in 2021, in my opinion, is online service, okay? Now, I did a lot of research on this because I'm not gonna lie to you. I've seen a lot of YouTubers, okay? A lot of people in general, a lot of bloggers. Uh, you can Google it, right? Like, best side hustles of 2021 best side hustles of 2020, right? And you always see, for whatever reason, I don't know why, I think it's just cause like, theoretically, it's like the easiest way to make money, but you always see everybody includes doing online surveys. And I've done a ton of research, okay? I think that it is a horrible way to make money. Not only is it super tedious, super annoying, you get asked the same questions like a million times, you probably download a bunch of like crap to your computer, you get a ton of viruses, okay? I can only imagine, okay? A lot of those websites are just no bueno. But it, it just doesn't make a lot of money, okay? There was a video I actually watched recently, I'll pop it up on the screen, but you know, the guy literally broke down kind of the online survey model. He spent like an entire weekend uh, going through it and taking a bunch of surveys and he did not make very much money, okay? I personally think that when I'm looking at 
the amount of time spent, right? Because you, again, you gotta remember, going back to what I talked about a little while ago, if your goal is to have a side hustle, then your goal is to make money on the side, right? It isn't like gonna be your main hustle. So you don't have 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week to delegate to the side hustle, right? You probably only have maybe like, I don't know, a couple of hours, maybe five or 10 hours to dedicate. I definitely would not do online surveys. And a lot of these websites, they don't even give you cash. They send you like a PayPal, uh, they send you like a gift card in the mail. Uh, it's just super weird, K, in my opinion. I think it's like super scammy, it doesn't feel right. You know, when you look at a lot of the sites, it's just like, you gotta like play games and stuff to like, I don't know, I just think it's really weird, K. Um, I, I know there's probably somebody out there that like has made money doing this, and I, I don't disagree. I think you could probably make money doing it. I just think that in my opinion, with the amount of time you're gonna have to spend doing that, I think there are definitely other things that you can make a lot more money doing in the same amount of allotted time. Another side hustle I see quite often, K, for the worst side hustle, number three, is stock photography. If you're not familiar, basically, it's just where you take photos and you upload them to these stock photo websites and then basically, if somebody decides to use that photo, then they'll go ahead and they'll go download the photo and they'll use the photo. And you essentially get paid a small amount of money every time that happens. Now, the problem with that is, is unless you're like a professional photographer, okay, a professional videographer, the reality is, and I hate to be that guy, right? But the reality is that you're probably not gonna get a lot of money doing this, right? Because you're probably not gonna get a lot of people to download the photo, okay? You gotta remember, when I'm going to look for stock photos, same with you probably if you're watching, right? It's like when you're going to look uh, for stock photos, you're looking for like the best of the best, right? You're looking for like a freaking 4K picture of like the mountain to save as your screensaver on your brand new like iMac or whatever, right? And if it is anything less than the best, you're not gonna, you're not downloading it, right? You're just simply not gonna download it, okay? You're not gonna use it in your videos or for whatever, like school project or whatever, you're just not gonna use it. So again, unless you're like a professional photographer and it, it just like absolutely like what you love to do, I wouldn't recommend making that like a side hustle you spend a lot of energy on. Again, if you enjoy it and you're already doing it, then sure, why not, right? Like upload all day long, like have fun with it, but I wouldn't expect to make a lot of money with it, especially not again in the amount of time that it's gonna take you to like go out of your way to take these, I mean, can you imagine like going out of your way? I saw a YouTube video, maybe I can find it. If I if I found it, it's gonna be up on the screen, okay? But I saw a YouTube video where like a couple of guys went out to get like the new uh, update picture for like Apple, okay? And it was like the Catalina, whatever. And it was like Catalina freaking mountain. And there's like a full YouTube video of these dudes that like, hike the mountain, they like get a helicopter, they freaking have to like camp out and they have to like get everything like perfect. They gotta get like a drone shot I think from like way far out. And anyways, it was just like the amount of energy spent on getting that picture is like unbelievable, okay? So definitely uh, just think about it before you do it, okay? If it's not something you really enjoy, I would stay away from making that one of your side hustles for 2021. The fourth worst side hustle, okay, in my humble opinion, is blogging, okay? Now, blogging is very similar to YouTube in the sense that it, it, it just takes a long time, right? Like, this isn't something that you're gonna start and see success with anytime soon, okay? So, when I look at blogging, and I am familiar, by the way, um, I've, I've seen Shelby Church, you know, she talks about, like, medium.com, and she actually, like, crushed it with medium.com, by the way. She made, like, way more money than I ever thought uh, anybody was gonna make blogging, okay? Pretty freaking crazy. But even without, like, websites like medium.com, like, the old school way of blogging, right, your blogs have to be up on Google for, like, 90 days in order for them to get ranked, okay, in order for them to essentially even get seen. Um, you pretty much have to be an expert at, like, SEO. You have to be an expert at, like, all these different things. And you've gotta be really good at writing. So, like, if you were a really good writer in school, right, and you got, like, just straight A's on all of your essays and you really enjoy that, then maybe this is something that you could do uh, for fun, right? Kind of like the stock photography. And you could definitely make money with it. I'm just saying, again, when I make this video, I wanna be very clear. We're talking about side hustles, okay? I don't know what everybody's talking about on YouTube. I feel like you can make more money freaking starting a lemonade stand or freaking mowing lawns, okay? Or starting a pool company, like cleaning swimming pools or whatever. Like there's so many, I'm not even gonna go down the rabbit hole, but like guys, we're talking about like making money on the side, okay? We're not talking about starting a freaking thing that is gonna take like four or five or six months or years to ever get it up and off the ground, okay? So again, these things that I'm talking about could be very lucrative, right? Assuming you spent years and years and years on the craft and you were really good at it and you really enjoyed it and it was something that you really were passionate about, then sure. But I don't personally think that blogging is a good side hustle in 2021. And not only that, uh, you know, again, moving forward, 
I really think that like in the long run, and again, this is just my opinion, I would love to hear what your thoughts are, but I think in the long run, video content is kind of taking over a little bit. Obviously, we've got YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Okay, there's all these different platforms, you know, it's all video content, right? I don't think that long term, our generation, like my generation, and even like the one below me, I don't think they're going to be reading a ton, unfortunately, because reading is really good. I love to read, okay? Obviously, you can see my books right here. I love to read. I've got a ton more where that came from. Now, there will always be bloggers. I think there will always be like Google, a Google search engine, and you're going to have like people that are writing um, you know, blogs and stuff like that. But I think in the future, if anything, it isn't going to become more popular, right? It is going to become less popular popular. All right, the fifth worst side hustle, and maybe after kind of reviewing the video, I should have started uh, this as number one, but we'll keep it as number five, okay? And that is, and you're gonna like, you're gonna be, you know, just, just hold on tight, okay? Uh, donating plasma. Just to be very clear, okay? I am not a medical expert. I, 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 know, I, I only know what I know by just doing my research, okay? And I did quite a bit of it for the video. I, I tend to try to make sure that I provide as much value as I can, but um, there's people out there that are like, telling other people to go donate plasma as a side hustle. First of all, I mean, again, according to my research, you can only do this like twice a week due to major health concerns, because I mean, you can only give so much uh, plasma, okay, blood, plasma. Um, so uh, I can't see it being a scalable side hustle, if you know what I mean, um, right off the bat, okay? But to kind of top it all off, I mean, Guys, like, come on. If you wanna donate, then absolutely. Like, I, I'm all for it, right? Like, I think my driver's license says that I'm a donor, and I, and like, obviously, that's a different realm of, of donorship, okay? If that's even a thing. But like, you know, again, uh, if you wanna do that, and you're like a good Samaritan, and you, like, I, I'm all about that. But like, as a side hustle, I just don't think that's a good side. In my opinion, okay, let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. I personally think, that that is maybe the worst side hustle. Like if, if somebody's recommending that you do that as a side hustle, I would like comment down, I would love to know who they are, okay? I would love to have a chat with them. Now you do obviously get paid when you do this, okay? So I think they do pay you like $25 or like $50 or whatever. So, you know, again, I just don't think it is a good side hustle. Now if you wanna go make 50 bucks and you wanna be a good Samaritan and you like truly think that your plasma is gonna be valuable to somebody else, which it definitely is, then do that, like by all freaking means. But I promise you there's better stuff out there if you're trying to make money, okay? Do that for free, like tell them to keep the money, like donate it, you know, be a good person. I, I'm all about that, right? But you know, if you're trying to make money, I'm gonna make more videos, okay, I promise. I'm gonna make videos, and I've already done a few, but I'm gonna make more videos on the best side hustles, okay? Because I wanted to make a video on the worst side hustles so that we could just kind of like get the ball rolling a little bit, you know, move in the right direction, right? And, and then I'm gonna make a video on the best side hustle. So stay tuned for that, okay? If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. If you would just subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, do it for the YouTube algorithm. If you're not gonna do it for me, at least just do it for the YouTube algorithm. It would mean the world to me. Comment down below what you think. Uh, and I would also love to know what side hustles are you doing in 2021, okay? Uh, because I've got a, a list compiled and I've seen some new ones out there, okay? I've seen couch flipping. Uh, I've seen a whole lot of, uh, of new side hustles that people are talking about. And, and let me tell you, I got a thing or two that I'm excited to talk about when I go to make that video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, if we get like some stupid number of likes on this video, I I'll pump that video out right away, okay? So definitely uh, just smash that like button. It would mean the world to me. Uh, and guys, Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. Again, I'm typically talking about business, finance, and real estate on my channel. So definitely stay tuned for more videos to come and I'll see you in the next one.